Hey guys, it's me, Brittany, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a luxury handbag unboxing. Now, this is a very, very, very spontaneous purchase. In fact, I wasn't planning to purchase from this brand anytime soon. I wasn't planning on purchasing a bag in general anytime soon, especially with the cost of everything right now, but the way it came about, I'll explain it all in detail in a moment, but I do want to do a disclaimer right now that this isn't a flex. I'm not trying to show off. I am just really passionate about having nice, beautiful things. Whenever I am spending my money, I want to put it towards quality items and items that I really admire, the craftsmanship and the detailed work. And Louis Vuitton is one of those pristine brands that's been around, has the history behind it, and I'm just really proud to own their items. Therefore, when I came about this bag, I felt like I had to get it. Also, it's in my quote, holy trinity, which I don't know if I've explained this to you guys, um, but I have three Louis Vuitton bags, which I jokingly call my holy trinity that I must purchase throughout my lifetime. And this is one of those. It's also a very hard to get bag. When you go on their website and you type in the name of this bag, it's in bold print. It says that they make very limited of these bags each year. They are very limited on the website and in select boutiques. So it's quite hard to get. Now, the strange thing was the night that I was on Louis Vuitton's website, which was 1.43 in the morning on a Saturday, I could not sleep. Uh, all three of my Holy Trinity bags was available all three of them. So I had to decide on which one was the one to purchase. And I went on Fashion File. I went on Luxury Promise and a couple of other pre-loved handbag websites to see what the like retail value of them are currently. And this was the one that felt like the best purchase for now. I feel like there might be a price increase in the future on this one. And I just really want to go ahead and get it. It is the smallest bag that I've ever purchased, but it fits a lot. And we'll go over that whenever I open it. Now, right here, I am showing you guys the envelope that has everything inside of it. So it has your return label if you need to return it. If you had any printed like thank you cards and stuff, they're all in here. And another thing that I want to point out is I looked online and of course, Louis Vuitton has converted all their bags to be microchipped. And this is one of them. So there's no like authentication card with this. And I feel like this is a giveaway right here. The lock and key is a giveaway on what bag it is. I also said it was a smaller bag, as you can see in the box. But yeah, a lot of Louis Vuitton bags don't have lock and keys. And I think it's great that they actually had them in their own little adorable dust bag, which is very, very cute. Now, I keep the dust bags and the receipt actually inside the box. That's my way of holding on to everything. I know some people prefer to keep them in a file cabinet or other methods of storing items, but I personally keep them on the box. Now, any guesses, you don't have to guess, but the comment section down below, you can guess on which one. Like I said, it is the smallest bag that I've ever purchased and it holds a lot. So very happy about this. And let's go on ahead and open it up and let me show you what it is and a drum roll. It's the Alma BB and the classic monogram print. I am so head over heels in love with this little cutie. I will admit I was a bit nervous after I placed the order that I might regret getting this bag because of its size, but we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about what this bag holds. I was also a little nervous if I was gonna actually like the monogram print. So we're gonna talk about that too. In fact, let's start with the print, why I went with the classic monogram. As you know from other videos, you have seen that I have another Louis bag. It's in the checker design. I also have a wallet, but I wanted something on the other end of the scale that still has that very like sophisticated, classic, historical look to it, but a little bit different. And the good thing about the classic monograms is this leather handles and the leather base as it ages, it gets that warm honey color, which I love when it comes to vintage pre-owned Louis bags, I always look for the ones with the more worn in look and these bags age so well, not to mention that red around the handles, that like waxing seal to hold it together. Oh, it's so bright, brand new, and it just looks gorgeous. The gold metal hardware also is a stunner with these bags. So I was very happy, very, very happy. Now let's look inside because I wanna show you what it comes with. 
Other than the lock and key, it does come with a strap. Now this strap isn't adjustable. Some uh, Louis Vuitton straps have hooks that you can adjust it to, to different lengths. This one is a good length though. I'm 5'5 and it hits in the right place for crossbody. So I'm very happy with the strap. Now the interior of this bag is durable. My other one has suede on the interior, so it's very delicate. I have to be very careful what I put inside of it. But this one has the canvas. And other than that, there's not much more with the interior. There is that one little pocket that doesn't really hold much. You could put maybe like your credit card or something in that pocket. So if you want something that has some like design feature to it for the interior of your bag, they do have those like bag shapers that will have like extra pockets, but I'm probably gonna leave it as is. I do love the fact that this bag has so much space and opens really big because I'm able to fit everything under the sun inside of this little, little bag. I could get my wallet, my keys, my phone, my small cosmetic bag with a couple of makeup items, a hairbrush. It fits so much. It might be small, but you guys, it's so, so mighty. I also love the versatility of this bag. So you could carry it top handle, you could get it at the crook of your arm or use that crossbody strap. So honestly, the possibilities with this bag is quite endless, even though it is small. It has enough space to get all my essentials in. And I just feel like any activities I do, if it's running errands, meeting up with family or friends, this is just a good size bag that's gonna hold what I need and not be extra heavy or weighted where I'm not happy about it. Also, I read somewhere that Coco Chanel actually would carry this style of bag. So I feel like it's a very classic, timeless, elegant bag. And like I said, this style of bag ages so gracefully. It has a really good value, so it will hold its value over time. I don't see this bag like losing value in the future. I'm just, I'm over the moon happy. And if you are curious on how I'm going to style this with my wardrobe, of course, in the description box is all the links to my other social media platforms. So definitely go on ahead over there and give me a follow, especially on my Instagram. I feel like I use that the most. That's where I make my reels. I do styling little photos and you can see this bag in action as well as my other bags, how I style and dress them up. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. The comment section is for you guys. If you own any Louis bags or you wanna know more about this one, definitely leave a comment below and I will get back to you guys. Thanks again for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.